Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another message, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. I hope you guys are blessed and well. Let's see, whatever this is, with this little late night message, it's 10.53 p.m. right now. Let's see what's going on with you guys, okay? I heard salmonella. Be careful, be watchful, okay? Somebody is vengeful, like somebody is seeking vengeance on you. And this is somebody who may have a problem with you because of what you're doing. Somebody doesn't agree with what you're uh, with what you're doing, so they're attacking you in every angle here. Serendipity message in the bottle to the sea. You're being guided with this six of swords energy, uh, divine feminine, masculine, whatever this is. Somebody's last name is Drake. D R A K E. I'm hearing Rake It Up by Yo Gotti and Nicki Minaj. So that could be significant to you, flexible. It's like somebody wants you to be someone that you're not. Or they're trying to get you to completely give up on something. Okay, here. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the messages. Something about flexible. Like you have time. No place like home. Seems like you're researching something, but you have time. Like whoever you are, it's like you're an entrepreneur or something. Like you have time to work on things. So this is why you're able to get products out or you're able to think of all of these new ideas it's because you you literally have time to do something it's like you have the time you have the patience you have the gifts you have nothing but the creativity you will always regenerate because of your talents like you have many many talents between worlds in the reverse you're not stuck you know exactly what it is you're here to do Orphan, I heard bull's eye. Somebody has a target on your back. Imagine somebody has made you into a target. Somebody could have went to target recently. A change in the wind. Imagine loyal heart. It's like you remain loyal and faithful to something. And this is why you're able to persevere through whatever this is. You may have to take some kind of action on somebody. This seems like an entity, a corporation or something that's like bullying somebody. Exchanging gifts, milk and honey. Like somebody is being bullied by multiple people, up to seven different people. July 19th is significant. I heard the word abrasive. These are a bunch of mean ass bullies or something. They think they're, they're going to run over you or something. That's not the case. Something is about to be made fair. Somebody's last name could be fair breathe i want to put emphasis on somebody's mama or grandmama or something is sick like and this person is like this this they should like the effort that they're putting in to steal from you or bully you they could be putting that love and care into their grandmother or their mom or something like this person is passing away or something somebody doesn't see something coming it's like they constantly are thinking of ways to take something from you they're about to be permanently dismantled like this whole group is when this one person falls everything will fall this seems like a bunch of mean girls or mean boys at work or something they all band together and made some kind of pact to get rid of you or something it's like they all got a job at the same time or at the same place and they all have the same goal which is targeting you but they don't understand that you're the wrong one. The illusions are over. I've been picking up on illusions in these readings recently, bro. Something about these illusions being shattered. Like something is illusions. Like some eluding. Somebody's running from the police or something. Like they're they're trying to run, but they can't hide. Time for a nap. Then you have Treasure Island here. Yeah, these people are picking on you. And it's like they're nitpicking. They're poking the bear. Like they're doing too much to where... They're trying, I feel like they're trying to get you to quit. It, it could have something to do with your uh, money, your resources. <laughs> Excuse me. But my dad said, this is not faded for you. Something is not faded. It's a lot of chaos and conflict because somebody feels like they have a leg up. They feel like you need to go, but that's not for you to give up. They're watching everything you're doing and they're not happy about it. Somebody is very messy. These are some messy ass men. You know deeply what the fuck is going on somebody's trying to block your blessings because you work from home and like i said you have time to do something somebody is they're all they're always occupied with their grandmother or their mother being sick or they're always working it's like they don't have any leisure time for themselves i feel like this person might just need to make time for themselves you know i don't i don't feel like 
they should always be so concerned about everyone else and putting themselves on the back burner. This person should be embracing their life as well, but they're not doing that. Instead, they're picking on you. What else is here? They're trying to make sure that you quit, that you give up doing something. And it's a group of these people. I'm, it's an emphasis on a group of men. This is a group of men attacking the feminine. They have tried to physically attack you. They tried gang stalking you. None of that is working, so they're bothering your money now. They did not make a wise choice. This was a very unwise choice that they made. It's like they're singling you out some kind of way. Like they're so jealous of you. They want you to give up on some of this empress fertility. They're causing a lot of confusion, but you have prosperity just now beginning for you. Like if somebody thought that they were blocking your prosperity, they are completely wrong. All they're doing is, is putting hindrance on their own bloodline. It's like everybody in this person's bloodline will suffer just because of them. That's crazy. Foundation and achievements. This is a bunch of men that's mad because this woman makes more money than them. This person may not be able to afford their rent or something like that, their car note, something. And it's like they're taking from this feminine or this masculine because they want you to be on the same level as them. It's like they're, they're attacking you, but they're stealing from you. This is what I'm saying. It's not like you're just not abundant or something. This person is not abundant. Okay, here you're abundant. They're stealing. That's the difference. They're stealing from you. That's what it is. This is an illusion that's about to be shattered. Somebody is about to get their bubble busted is what the fuck I heard. They're about to literally get called the fuck out or something and they're going to get put in their fucking place because these are some goddamn thieves. Whoever these liars, these manipulators, these bullies are, they're doing this to a woman. And masculine, you could be in your divine feminine energy here. We, whatever the case is, you're a light worker. You're doing something for the most high God and these people are stealing from you. But I've been, I've been literally picking up on illusions being shattered. Movement choices, decisions, recognition, and reward. These people decided to move towards you because you're being recognized for something. I heard the word validate. It's like they're they're stamping something like they're, they're manipulating something. Numbers or something like that. You're going to catch on to this shit and call their ass the fuck out. All these people right here are about to lose the only resources that they have, which is this job. I feel like this is somebody that works for YouTube. Or TikTok or something like that. They're stealing from you. Like I said, firm foundation, material harvest. How do you have all these cars of abundance, but they're stealing? Somebody wants you to give up. That's why they're taking from you. They want you to give up. They don't want you to catch on to something. That's what this is. They're definitely hoping that you just give up. But the universe is going to step in right on time. I feel like the most high guy has been watching somebody. But it's somebody else that's been watching these people too. Somebody named Jeff or something, Jeffrey, Jeff, Dan or Damien or Danny, something like that. Love begins, financial material changes, sacrifice. This person wants you to make, this. it's like they're trying to make you feel unworthy of something. Like they, they want you to feel worthless. Like somebody is literally giving you pennies for something that's worth millions. And it's like they're stealing shit from you. It's a group of these people that work for YouTube. That's what I'm picking up. I'm truly picking it up. Spirit said, that's the damn truth or where it just go. I seen that car pop up somewhere, but I know it's the truth. I know I know exactly what the fuck I'm feeling. Yeah, that's the truth or right behind triumph. That's the truth. You are the truth. Emotional loss. These people are about to get their shit in a way that they never thought. I'm telling you, this person about to pass away quickly. It's something here that this person was... Like, they were doing something egregious to you. Like, this this is just not right. The components of this, it doesn't make any sense. Something is not adding up. Something not adding up. It's like this person is trying to end everything in your life, and they don't even see their family members slipping away right underneath their nose. And it's like the frustration that this person is going through. They can't take care of their home life. They can't take care of themselves. They taking it out on you, but they're fucking with your money. You're going to move on from whatever this is. You're emotionally withdrawn. It's like this this shit is not even getting no reaction out of you. Like they're looking for a reaction. They're looking for you to retaliate. And I feel like they're not even gaining anything from stealing from you. They're not gaining shit. This is ego. It seems like, well, maybe something is feeding their ego. Maybe their adrenaline gets fed or something. When they see that they're stealing from you and they see your numbers are changing, they, they get a good laugh at this. That's about it. They're not getting paid. They're not getting any fulfillment at all this this is just something for them to say that they beat you or got you to quit or something like that somebody name is gidge 
transformation, victory and success, sacral chakra. Yeah, you're you're going through an extreme transformation. Like you don't even understand. February 19th, like whatever they were stealing from you, trust and believe me, it's about to come back to you 24. Like they they've been stealing just to give it back. Like whatever this is with this YouTube, TikTok or something, like somebody is literally being stolen from. And it's like you see right through whatever this is. You're going to catch on to something and sue the fuck out of these people. And it's like they're manipulating things and they feel like you don't see what's going on. Just because you don't say something don't mean you don't know something. You dig a real skill. Like you don't got to speak on everything that you know. You ain't got to tell motherfuckers your moves. You ain't got to always do that, bro. You're moving silence. That's, that's what it is. Because it's like somebody really thinks you're dumb and you're not. You see exactly how they're stealing from you. And it's like these people will risk the reputation of these companies and things like that only to steal from you because they're extremely jealous. They're not bothering nobody else like they're doing this to you. They're not doing this to anyone else. They're only doing it to you. I feel like you have a genuine love for something that you're doing. Whatever this content is that you're creating, just keep creating, bro. Just keep doing you because you've got so much abundance within you. Like, you you can create content for days. They rejoicing and celebrating, toasting their glasses and shit, but they don't even see this tower coming. What's here? Somebody does not like the fact that you make money or something. Like, like I said, you're making the money. Somebody is just coming, stealing the shit from you. They're manipulating numbers, and they think they're not being seen. I heard Beijing, Bangkok, Hancock, Hancock or something. What else is here? They can't take your gifts from you, so whatever. They want to stop you from doing some memories of love. They don't want you to have any love for anything you're doing. They're fucking with your money to take shit from you to make you lose love for what you're doing. I'm trying to tell you don't give up. I'm not saying stay at a dead-end job or whatever the case is, but when it's something you're doing, you have a mission, bruh. Remember why you started doing something. Remember why you partnered with the most high. Because God sees everything. And he's about to bring a tower to these people, bro. This shit going to be so sad, bro. This person literally about to lose their mother or their grandmother behind this shit. Like, you just because you're jealous and envious of somebody, you finna have a lifetime of grief. And it's all because of you. It got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. It's because of this person. And they can't blame you for anything. This person, grandma, somebody in this person and family is about to pass away. And they're not going to be able to recoup. This person is not going to no longer have a job. Like, all this shit that they were doing, it was for no fucking reason, bro. It's like this person's life is just slipping away from them. And this person is too busy focusing the fuck on you. And ending something in your life, they don't even see that this death is coming. <clears throat> or maybe they know it's coming, they just don't know when. Sooner than you think, motherfucker. Sooner than you think. Because you're doing a bit too much. And it's like, this person, this is all this person got. This is all this person has is their mother or their grandmother. And you're sitting up here taking from somebody else when this person is sick and all of that. Just the shit that you do don't affect you. It affect everybody around you, bro. The things that you're doing, it don't just affect you. It affects everyone around you. You mean to tell me you stealing from somebody that's worth somebody's life? Man, this shit is sad as hell, bro. All because you feel like this person is privileged. They're a child of God. But this person, you are a fucking thief. You are stealing from this person to try to get them to quit. Whatever they're doing for work. This privileged lady is working and she's getting sudden wealth because she's a child of God and you're stealing from her because she's using her fucking gifts and she's working from fucking home. So you're going to steal her fucking shit. She's about to get unexpected income and you're about to be in despair. I'm trying to tell you the motherfucking vibes. I'm sick and tired of warning you stupid motherfuckers about this. I'm just tired of warning you. It's like every single day, y'all, people just do more and more and more. And you don't even understand what's about to happen to you. And then when this person die, you gonna go and start taking it out on this feminine or this masculine? Man, please, bitch, you need to blame yourself. This person right here does not even see this ending coming. I'm definitely seeing that coffin card. This person don't even see this person is passing away right in front of their face. They're also going to end up going to jail. So you're going to lose your mama, your dad, or whoever this is, and you going to jail too. Wow. 
All because you couldn't stop stealing from this fucking person. Community. This person definitely is going to jail. It is so many endings around this person. And I'm I'm getting into their physical motherfucking life. Yeah, I'm going to tap all into your business, bitch. I told you I seen the coffin. This person is about to pass away. Somebody is passing away. And they're going to be scared. They're going to be sad, depressed, and everything else. Mark my words. All because you chose to steal. And it's like you're fucking with this person's livelihood. Divine Feminine, these people have been literally gang-stalking you. Like, they've been around your home and all kind of stuff. I don't know who the fuck enticed these fools to do this dumb shit. But it could be this mature man that put these niggas on to you. But they vowed. They made a promise to get rid of you. But all of their shit is turning upside down. Bro, you just never know how karma gonna come back and get your ass. So, yeah. You stealing money ain't got nothing to do with this person. Because what you're about to lose, that's your money can't buy it. So you, you should have thought about this. And it's a little bit too late. They're not going to stop anyway. But like I said, these hoes and niggas don't never learn until they getting their shit rocked. And this person right here, they, they going to experience a death. That's what I'm saying. Somebody going to pass away. And it's going to be very quickly. It's a sudden death. They don't see this shit coming, bro. Unexpected income. Whoever this old ass lady is that they've been taking care of. Or whatever the case is. Maybe they've been doing this shit to get her medicine or something. You should have been planning a funeral, motherfucker. All because this person works from home? Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. It's a bunch of fucking men. They have literally been stealing this woman's money. They've been stealing from an official person. Like, what the fuck? And this man is looking at y'all like you stupid enough to do this shit. These people wake up every day with you on their brain because they were assigned to do it. They were assigned to do this shit. Yep, Journey. They were assigned. Like, these people get jobs. Like, they apply for jobs. These people are literally getting jobs just to fuck your shit up. They're, they're, they're only getting these jobs to, to fuck with your money. And you're, I feel like you're the only person that they're targeting. It's people like you, rather, I want to say, okay, here. Because I don't feel like it's just you. It's just people like you. And it's not many, okay? Not many people like you that, that advocate for the real. They have no fucking filter. They don't give a fuck what you're talking about. These are a bunch of false people. And they feel like they're going to hinder you. They feel like they're just going to keep continuously doing something. Now they ass is concerned. I'm telling you, somebody going to wake up. This, this person, I'm telling you, bro. And these people already got money. So my thing is, why are they stealing from you? This wealthy man is paying these people to do this shit. And it's a group of men. It's a bunch of men that's about to be in poverty while you're receiving great fortune. I'm telling you, these hoes and niggas better calm the fuck down with this shit before they get sued, bro. Like, these folks finna lose every goddamn thing. Just from stealing a few thousand, a couple hundred dollars from you, they gonna lose millions. And you're not finna sit up here and tell me they doing that shit to everybody. They're not. They're doing this shit to a certain amount of people. To certain individuals, they targeted you some kind of way. Marriage. These could even be people that are married like I feel. Like they can't take care of their households and they're looking at your revenue. Jealous as fuck of what you're bringing in a month. So they're attacking your money. They're stealing from you. But they're doing it very strategically. But you are, you are very, you strategize. I told you this lady about to pass away. I'm just telling you the vibes. This, this person, like, and it seems like they don't even care. They may even be waiting on this person to pass away to get some kind of money. And they're not even on the wheel. This person, bro, this person's whole life going to be shattered. They're not even on this person's wheel. This person worked too hard to leave anything to this ungrateful brat is what I heard. It's like they're sitting back waiting on somebody to die only to be in poverty. They're going to lose their job, lose this person, lose every goddamn thing. Mark my words. All because they kept working on some stupid shit to steal from the privileged lady. Like, they're, they just, they're stealing every single day. And they're doing it in a very slick way. They're doing it sneakily. They're doing something in a sneaky manner. But don't worry, Divine Feminine. You got great fortune because you're gifted. Your gifts will make room for you. Don't worry about this. Don't, don't even worry about it because you already see the plot. Don't give these hoes and niggas no satisfaction. Somebody wants you to start crying and complaining or something. Man, whatever, bro. You can either quit or just whatever. Let the shit ride. Get a lawyer. Sue they ass. 
Do what you need to do. It's all about you working from home and being comfortable. Somebody's always thinking about this and they're concerned as fuck. Well. But what they should be concerned about is this family member of theirs that's passing away. This person is about to be very, very upset. And it's like they know something is coming, but they feel like it's happening to you. This person may be trying to get some kind of transplant for this person or some kind of inf uh, fusion or something. They're trying to, they're doing this shit to you because they need money for this person. So they picked you to steal. They chose you to steal from you because they, they, they got personal business to take care of as if you don't have a family yourself. As if you ain't a mother or a father. Like you don't need your money. They need your money more than you. They're definitely stealing. And or like I said, they're just at a, a job that ain't paying them much. And they're sitting back looking at your revenue. Very jealous, highly uh, egotistical and envious here, greedy. And they like, oh, well, nah, I'm a man. She shouldn't be making that much money. So I'm going to go and take her money from her. That's definitely what they've been doing. It's like over a course of time, they've been doing this shit to you. And they do it very sneaky. I'm telling you the vibes. Ignore these fools. You're too fired for them. Don't you ever stop being who you are. Because it doesn't matter where you go. These people gonna do the same shit. Until they see that they ain't gonna do that shit. They're the devil. These are people that's in devil fucking energy. And that's the ace of swords, true. You about to get back everything that they took from you. 30-fold, period. These people are not emperors and empresses. They're not these energies that they feel like they are. These are a bunch of fucking tyrants. These are people that need to be put down because they're rabbit dogs. But trust and believe me, all the magic, like they've been doing magic and everything, bro. When I say these people have been attacking you in every fucking way that they can, none of it works. So they're physically taking risks and they're going in stealing money from you now. The money magic and all that shit done backfired on these motherfuckers. So now... They're um they're literally going in and stealing from you some kind of way. I'm not sure. But it's like you see the difference. This queen of cups, this woman who's not bothering any goddamn body, they're trying to have you in that eight of swords. But you're not confused about anything. Excuse me. You see exactly what's going on. This whole entire conglomerate is about to be taken down at the same time. They're not going to be able to do this. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This person is waiting on money. They're not going to get it. I'm telling you, they think that this person going to leave them some, something is about to be shaking up in this person's life. Everything is not fine. So if you don't, if you don't resonate with this, if this is not going on, it will. I'm telling you the vibes. If you're in this reading still, this somebody is definitely stealing from you at work and they're doing this on purpose and you definitely could be a YouTuber or something. This person is only waiting to be in despair. This is so weird to me. It's like, why are you doing all of this when it's going to, you're not, nothing is going to go in your favor. This third party, three, three, if I see another three, I'm a shit. The Empress. They're doing all this shit working against this Empress when she's over here minding her fucking business. This is why you're not going somewhere. Like, you can do whatever you need to do. And this is somebody who tried to come together with you. They only wanted healing. They only wanted sex. They only wanted money. They only wanted something from you. This is why you turned their ass down cancer energy you don't want anything to do with this person it's something about their energy that you don't your spirit don't agree with their energy or something yeah death in the fucking reverse they're trying to call they're trying to make you quit doing something that's just what this is and they're mad because you don't you're at a nine of pentacles you don't need nobody they want to be needed or something you don't need them why would you need somebody who's sitting up here stealing from you they're trying to steal because they want you to need them. And you still wouldn't need them. The tower. Man, this person is real. You don't even know this person for a lot of y'all. You don't even know these people, bro. They behind the scenes doing this shit. This shit is low vibing and losing. Have no fear, divine feminine. If you've if you been going through something like this, masculine, with somebody stealing your money, I'm seeing a pair of scissors on this card. And something about to get cut off completely. This person is mad as hell because they're not a twin flame or your twin flame. Or they're just completely jealous of your money. They don't like this lavish lifestyle that you live. They don't like the fact you get your nails done, your hair done, and things like that. And I feel like a lot of y'all do your own hair and makeup and shit. Y'all do y'all own shit. This person is not... It's 24-24. Like, you, do, you keep yourself up. What the fuck is so wrong with that? What is wrong with you doing work and making money for your work? It's like, this person wants you to just slave and get paid nothing. And it's like, well, if they're in control of something and they're not walking away from it, they're going to be ripped away, snatched the fuck away from this job. 
whoever the fuck this is, because it's a group of these hoes and niggas. It's a group of them doing this to certain people. They're not doing it to everybody. They're only doing this shit to the real motherfuckers that's calling out that real true shit. Virgo energy here with the hermit. I don't know who the fuck these folks is. Gemini energy with the lovers. You calling something out for what it is, and it just is what it is, bro. Like, this person about to lose their mama or some shit from this. Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, this is just absolutely a shame. They're not finna keep doing this same shit to you. Like, you have already conquered. Like, it's like every, every time you turn around, it's just somebody finding a new way to fuck you over. But you're too strong. They gonna get worn out and taken out before you. I'm telling you, this person's not gonna have time to stalk you. They're not gonna have time to worry about what the fuck you're doing. They're not gonna have time to do it. They're gonna be too busy arranging things. And this person can't get upset because of this devil ass activity that they kept. They kept indulging in this shit. So whatever you get fucking around with the devil bitch, then that's what you get. You can't blame this feminine. Like this person gonna literally have the audacity to get upset with you when somebody passed away. They gonna be mad at you, but it's just justice. They should have been focused on loving this person. They should have been focused on that instead of focusing on you, stealing from you. It's like they've literally been taken from you. You're going to get some kind of good news. Seem like something just going to stop completely. And it's because this person is being removed. It's like they 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 um insist, is what I'm hearing, on causing some kind of imbalance for you. But you still got the Ten of Cups. Trust and believe me, this shit right here is over with. I keep saying the same thing over and over. It's like they keep finding more clever ways to take something from you but they're in a five of swords five of cups fucking defeated with these goddamn illusions bro sheesh this is just old as fuck this is so old to keep picking up on this but i'm gonna keep reading these hoes and niggas and speaking into existence you're not gonna win you're losing page of cups reverse that's what they want you to do stop speaking out stop speaking your truth stop being so beautiful stop just i don't want them to be able to afford their life they need to be homeless and all this bullshit like somebody literally hates you so much that they want you homeless the moon card man please they've done all they can do as far as spell or these hoes and niggas is rap though they can't do anything but they're taking a real risk with whatever this is the ace of wands you have a brand new beginning that's not good news to these people it is something about you turning down this cup. You turn down a cup of love from somebody. They're 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 gay anyway. They're not even straight. So yeah. They're not even straight. They just wanted to use you for energy or something like that. And because they can't get something from you, they're blocking your money. King of Pentacles. I'm telling you the vibes. They they're trying to turn you into the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with no wish fulfillment and a five of cups reverse. I mean a five of pentacles. They want you left out in the cold, literally releasing and relinquishing all of your abundance and your money. They want you to have nothing. And this is all because you turned them down. Like, this person does not know how to take rejection, but they're under fucking judgment. Period. Like, they're under judgment. And their judgment is going to be whoever this is. They're going to lose this person. You live by this shit, you die by it, bitch. And that's just how I feel. I don't even feel like this person is going to be wiped out. This person is going to live a very long time to endure all of this stress and shit and strife, grief, and things like that that they try to put on you. Oh, they're going to live to pay for this shit. I promise you that. They're going to live a long time to see you thrive and excel and succeed in their fucking face. Because you're in your life purpose, you're this queen of swords, temperance energy. You bring balance with your words or something. You're very healing. You have a lot of healing components to you, even though it may not, you know, be the nicest way or something. You may not be saying something in the nicest tone because I feel like you really don't like, you know, when people be fucking people over. So you speak out against that shit and these people are mad, but I feel like they're more so mad because they're in fear. Like they don't like the fact that you're a woman and you're in this high ranking position. They're doing some unethical shit and it's about to be called out. I'm telling you. This person is about to lose somebody in a matter of days. Justice. I'm telling you, this is crazy. What I'm picking up on, this, this person be taking a mama or somebody to dialysis or something. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to get immediate justice. Like, this, this person is literally going to start blaming you for the death of this person. They keep sending death at you or trying to cause something to end. They want you to quit. This person does not want you to promote something that you're doing or they don't want other people promoting you. 
they don't want people to know who you are or like they celebrated too soon. They don't want you celebrating life. They just want you stuck, stupid, and stagnant. Impatient beauty. Say hey, they keep taking these are these people are making mistakes now because they're so they're so hell bent on you quitting something. It's like they can't take nothing from you, so they're making trying to make you quit by stealing. Like they can't take your gifts, they can't take your looks, they can't take your abundance, they can't take anything from you, so they're stealing money from you now. That's what I'm telling you. They're doing this shit to try to make you quit, walk away from your life purpose. You could be a counselor or something. Like, whatever you're doing, you're making a difference, bro. So, don't ever forget that. You're enduring something. You have endurance. You're manifesting a beautiful life. Don't get it twisted, bro. Just look at this as a stepping stone because they finna definitely be your fucking footstool. These motherfuckers right here finna have to settle for whatever the fuck they can get because it is what it is. You shouldn't have been doing this to this person. It's like they're going to start thinking about what they did after they start getting their shit or something. Now they want to try to think about what they were doing or like, well, I wasn't doing that that bad. All I did was go and manipulate shit and whatever the case is, you know, and they, they laughing so hard. Like I'm seeing these men, they are laughing so hard. They are laughing at stealing from you. They like, oh, they thought they were going to make some money, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to come and take all your money from you, study, uh, student. They're studying you. These are a group of men doing this. And it's something from the past. Like you literally shot this person down. Seems like these niggas go around the internet or something. Because they work for YouTube and they, they definitely are bending rules. They try to reach out to you for any fake ass accounts and shit. And you end up cutting their asses off or not reaching out to them at all. They see you doing something independently. Because it's like they need something from you. You don't need anything from them. These, these niggas right here making $10 an hour or something working for YouTube. Or whatever they make, they making little or nothing. And they doing all of this shit to you because you're making more than them. It's like they looking at your revenue jealous as fuck. And they keep constantly stealing. They want you to be uncomfortable. They want you to have a major ass setback. And that was the injustice that they were causing to you. It's like you're catching on to something right on time or something. <clears throat> all of this shit right here is about to be wrapped up. This is not, this is not what's going to happen. You're a teacher or something. It's like everybody else can do their content and make their money and shit, but you can't do it. It's a problem when you're doing something. It's like somebody's always targeting you, and then they all, they go and target your money, wanting you to be unfulfilled. But it's them. These people are unfulfilled. You're just fine. Don't let whatever this is get to you. Don't give up because you have a gift of a lot of money. Like, spirit is about to give you something for your, for your persistency. Like, God sees everything, bro. And I feel like he rewards persistence. Something's going to be all over the media. This is simply because this person is envious, I'm telling you. It ain't got nothing to do with anything else. They're jealous. It's some kind of smear campaign, money manager. Like, this person, you do something on social media, this person is in the revenue department or something. I've been telling y'all this for a few months. They've been controlling something. This person has been controlling some, but spirit is washing their hands with this person. They've been doing too much. They're not going to be successful with whatever this is. Like, it's, it's like they, they may have been taking whatever from you, but they're going to have to give it back. Like I was just saying in a live stream, like, what's the point of taking these little hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars when you have to pay a person millions? What's the point of it? Just leave them the fuck alone. They're doing something to make it seem like there's no way out or no way for you to prove something, but you can prove it. I feel like just document everything. They think you're not paying attention. Somebody feels like you're overlooking some, but you're finna get an offering of justice. And whatever the fuck these people about to go through is just justice. I don't feel bad for these people. This shit is just sad. It's sad how it's a team of people that gotta go through all of this shit just because you're envious of somebody. And a lot of these niggas don't even know why they're doing something. They just doing it because everybody else is doing it. Okay, well, I got this shit. If you got that shit. Well, when they when they come on your shit, I, I feel like it's one person, though. It's, it seems like it's one person more so that's invested in you. They're invested in taking everything from you, but something unexpected is about to happen. Wow, this is very sad. Because you truly don't deserve what they're doing. Spirit is about to come in and rescue you like they always do. Your, your angels and guys is here with you the, every step of the way. Trust and believe me, you're on an assignment for God. What these people doing ain't got shit to do with you. You need to stay focused on what you're doing. 
I understand, bro. They fucking with your money, whatever. I get it. But yeah, don't give up because that's the goal. They were sent by the devil. These people were hired by the devil. They they refuse counseling. They refuse to... They, they argue with themselves a lot. They go back and forth. There's number of arguments in their household. They're trying to rewrite your destiny or something. These are not leaders. These people will never be in leadership positions or anything like that. They will never be on your level. That's just what I'm telling you. This is very stupid. Like, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like this is just... This is just stupid. Like, what I'm picking up on, this is not... It's not cool. And they got helpers. Like, these people are having help with something. They do not want you recognized for some shit. It's like you're the main target. All these people think about every day is you and how they can bring you down. How they can take from you. How they can make you quit. They're trying to make you give up on something. Yep, denial. Excuse me. Somebody's in denial or they want you to feel like you're denied from something when the doors are open. They need to be careful with this shit. Like, these people really need to be careful. Somebody's playing a dangerous ass game right here. Like, this shit finna get real ugly for somebody. And it's like, it's all gonna hit them at once because that's what they're doing to you. Like, they're trying to cause something to shake up in your life. They're trying to cause you to be penny pinching. Work hard in silence. Yeah, when you truly got options. That's what I'm saying. You're not a charity case. This this person has been fucking with somebody's money, and I mean in a major way. Like they've been stealing from you, but very strategically. All this is to get you to quit, though. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing other than jealousy vengeance that they're trying to take on you for no reason just because of their ego because you turned them down or you did not acknowledge them or something like who do they think they are do they know who i am no they don't and i don't feel like they give a fuck who you are either you ain't nobody doing this kind of shit you ain't nobody and these motherfuckers really be wondering why you passed up the opportunity <laughs> to get fucked over and look at what they're doing to you now so all they were going to do is come in, have sex with you, steal your energy and throw you away like they're doing now. But it would have been much worse. Like they, it would have literally been much worse if you would have dealt with this person. They're trying to they're trying to make you think that you're not worthy and you are causing chaos and fights in your love connections. These people send a lot of love magic at you, too. It seems like it's this one goddamn person and they're steadily bringing you income. Like, they think that they're stealing from you, but they're really bringing you income. Like I said, they're your stepping stool. You stepping all over these folks' ass and you're not even trying or you don't even recognize it or something. I honestly don't know exactly what these people are doing, but it's something very strategic. Like, when I tell you this shit is strategic as hell, they are strategically stealing from you. And they're using the fact that they got access to a uh, a program or something i feel like these people be clocked in to work when they're not even on the clock and it's like their off days they spend their off days stealing from this feminine or this masculine they literally spend their days off stealing from you like the days that they be with their grandmother or something so it seemed like on a sunday like on Sundays, on the weekends especially, maybe Sunday, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and the weekends or something. They they definitely, look, haters will try to convince you to just give up. I'm telling you, they're trying to make you give up doing something. Let me pull another card. I'm getting out of this energy. I'm just fucking sick and tired of this shit. This shit is weird. They're trying to make you homeless, period. These people don't want you to be able to afford your housing or something. They they true goal is to have you homeless. So they're stealing money from you. They're trying to make sure you don't reach a certain goal with your revenue or something. I'm specifically picking up on something on YouTube. You don't have to do YouTube, but I'm just saying. This could be anything. This is somebody at your job. This is somebody at work that's mad that you didn't accept some kind of offer from them. Physically, through the internet or whatever the fuck. Spiritually, whatever. And you have a huge blessing coming. 
That's just what I'm going to leave this right here. Just understand that God got your back, bro. It's like you're you're literally persevering through whatever this is. And it's like, this shit should not be this hard. Something should not be this hard. But somebody is making something difficult for you. It's like they're trying to... Uh, they try to control what you're making. But it's not like you're not making the money. You're making the money. They're going in and they're stealing it. So your revenue is like dropping. Like your, your revenue is dropping every day. Maybe two times a day or something like that. This person is doing that shit on purpose. But it's like they they don't understand that you're not slow. You see exactly what they're doing. You like you literally and you're about to get some kind of good news and this person is going to be pissed off because they will not stop. They won't stop something here. Look, I told you bully. There are a bunch of bullies. 4044 is what I saw. They these are bullies. They they're literal bullies. These are men doing this to a woman because they're intimidated. So they singling you out to bully you try to cause death like they're trying to cause so much stress on you that you just completely go crazy and just give up and walk away and say fuck every damn thing these are some very evil and demonic people that you're dealing with and it's like they don't care they don't get tired of being evil but you don't get tired of being good either you dig a risk like you ain't gotta you ain't gotta stoop to these four level because it's like you don't even know who doing this shit anyway. Somebody last name is Martin. M-A-R-T-I-N. They're they're definitely trying to cause endings in your life, and I don't care. Like they're trying to cause endings like with your livelihood. Like these people have targeted you for so long. Whoever this feminine is, she's highly sought after. It is like you're very hard to contact or something. You're very hard to get in contact with or it's very hard to get close to you. And it's like, damn, ain't nobody that we send in their way. All of these motherfuckers is in the same cahoots. Like, they're in the same little group. And, um, you know, it's like, well, one of us got to get her. One of us, and we're going to share that energy. I'm telling you, these men are not even straight. I mean, whatever your sexual preference is, whatever, nobody's judging you for that. But why are you trying to make it seem like you want this divine feminine when you're not even straight? You only want her energy. You want the blessings and abundance that comes with this person. But you're trying to steal from them, too. How you think that shit gonna go? Like, I feel these niggas right here just having fun or something. They having fun until that shit ain't funny. Yeah, you laughing and it's funny. But it ain't gonna be funny. Because when they do it, I'm gonna do it to them. Man, every time, bro, I swear. My brother voice pop up in my motherfucking head. These folks trying to have you homeless, bro. Yeah, you laughing and it's funny, but it ain't going to be funny because when they do it, I'm going to do it to them. <laughs> that shit always pop up. Anytime, bro, I'm telling you, just remember, yeah, they laughing and it's funny, but it ain't going to be funny because when they do it, I'm going to do it to them. Just know that shit, fam, Asking. Don't worry about it, baby. Because they fucking with your livelihood. They they trying to take everything away from you. It's like a constant cycle. The enemy keeps doing this shit over and over to you. You've already been in your job season. There's no debating about that. Whatever you lost, God has already restored or he will. It's like they keep trying to constantly have you out here with nothing. So now they're strategically taking your money from you. Some of y'all, your money, your revenue is dropping. And it's like two or three times a day, bro. Facts. Big fat rules. It's like two or three times a day. These people are stealing your money. I don't know how the fuck they're doing this. But they're strategically doing it. They're stealing from you and I don't care. They're collaborating. This is a collaboration. Just remain calm. They want you to be stressed. Whoever you are, just remain calm, bro. I'm telling you, just watch how this shit gonna work because this evidence against these people. Somebody is watching. They're watching everything. And it's like they indulge like three bitches. These are some bitches. They're not causing no true chaos because you're calm. You're about to buy a new house and everything. Yeah, they made a vow. Like, they don't even know why the fuck they promised themselves this shit. They don't even know what they're doing. They really don't. Like, these people really have 
wasted a bunch of time in life. I'm going to leave you. Remember, God loves you and so do I.